Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hout Baileron here in Farming Simulator 22 with me. See what it's the first period of September. Um, I've got an auto drive guy currently working to fill my greenhouse with water. Um, the sheep apparently have no space for wool. And I also need to feed my chickens today. Because it's September, so need to do that. I need to go find a tractor from somewhere. Uh, where's all my tractors? Where's my... There's my fen. There's my... Oh yeah, the Massey's there. That's why I can't find Massey. You know what? We'll take the uh, fen. We'll, t we'll take some wheat over, feed the uh, 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 chickens. We will then commence with today's activities, which I do believe involve we're going to do some seeding. Um, we need to get some oilseed radish. Some oilseed radish planted on a couple of fields, which we are not seeding till next year. Uh, we can get our um, our wheat and barley planted. Although I'm also thinking to myself again, with what we learned last episode regarding crops for productions. Perhaps we don't want to be planting any barley this year. Perhaps what we want to be planting is more sorghum and more oat. Now, I don't think we can actually do that currently, can we? No, we're only allowed to plant wheat and barley. Oat and sorghum are the early, early spring crop. Right. We'll need to uh, have a look at that. I also need to go and fetch my truck from up at the um, spinnery because uh, the sheep have run out of space for wool. I also think I've run out of space for fabric at the spinnery. So we can sell some fabric, which would be nice. look at the field states then so we know we've got nothing planted on any of the fields at the minute so 36 and 33 are probably going to be the ones that get um oil seed radish applied to them and then maybe 35 or 37 we might put wheat get some wheat planted and then because obviously we're going to need some wheat to keep feeding the chickens. So we're going to need a wheat harvest for next year. So yeah, we could do wheat as well. Uh, our grapes are ready to harvest as well. Our grasses are all ready for mowing. Whew. Boy, oh boy. It all gets very complicated, doesn't it? Right. So, what are we doing first then? Um, dun dun dun! We can do some seeding. We'll start this guy doing some seeding, I think. That makes logical sense. And we'll get him to do oil seed. Massey will just keep looping. He will. He'll just keep looping. So yeah, our grapes apparently are harvest ready. And 
Our field here is seed ready. So, I think let's create job, field work, uh, field position. Yeah, generate course. We'll do 11. Generate course. That should be done. It's fine. Just need to. Turn this guy around a bit. Start job. Right. Yeah, he's filling up the greenhouse. Okay, yeah, Mr. Truck. So our, our fabric needs to move. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't going to be as easy as I was hoping. Um. <laughs> Not a lot of room to get to the pallets, unfortunately. And there's going to be quite a few, so I believe. So let's 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 nip round the back and see if we can load up them. Try this. Spawn a bunch more. Oh, look, how much does the spinnery have? Quite a bit. <laughs> Could have made this a little bit easier for access. Just saying. Pick up that pallet. I also think these auto load trailers need to be a little have a little bit more generous pickup range. I have to come back. Too many objects in this area, lampposts and everything. Law. It's all a bit cray cray. Right, I suppose we ought to see where we're going to sell the fabric. Don't we? Le Jardines the farm shop. So yeah, we can we can do that. Well, there's Fermier's farm shop. Then we need to come back, then we need to go and empty get pick all the wool, bring all the wool to the spinnery. Whoa! 
Yeah. I'm gonna watch these again. I think another thing with all these auto load trailers and stuff. The mod offers really need to lower the centre of gravity quite a bit to account for the fact that they get really top heavy once they're loaded up and they're prone to tipping over. Oh, I can't get down from here. Off-road time, ladies and gents. We go to Fermier's farm shop to sell the fabric. So we've commenced seeding, and I, I know we've got the grapes to harvest. It's a lot of jobs to do today, or a lot of jobs to start. And so much of the small housekeeping stuff like this to do which again is all time consuming achievement unlocked long haul oh, that's nice I need to have a play around as well and see if there's an achievement I can't believe I've not got yet in the game and that's the one for producing bales for making bales because I would have thought, having done 232 bales the other day on Carmsden, I would have I would have unlocked the achievement for doing the um, the bales, 40 bales or whatever it is that you need to make. Um, so yeah, I'm surprised I haven't unlocked the achievement in game yet for baling. The grass baling. I know there's one as well for doing cotton bales, but that is um, that's just not achievable because <laughs> it, it asks you to make 40 cotton bales and you've got to do it in one game session. Um, I don't know too many maps apart from maybe some of the real big custom maps, mod maps out there that would allow you to get 40 cotton bales off one field in one session. Right, let's go get the wall. And they can move on that. and make a start on another task. One thing I've not considered yet <laughs> is how am I going to transport my grapes? See, I hate these trailers that leave a gap. Like some mucking about now. Look. Right, come on, we should be able to pick these ones up. We've got room. 
Yes. I can hear an alarm going off somewhere. This sounds like an air raid siren. Trucks feel in the way. We might still have to be in a position, we might still end up in a position where we have to try and find a way to sell wool loops on its own without turning it into fabrics and stuff because I still think I'm just going to produce way more wool than this spinnery can produce um, fabric. <laughs> I just think we are going to... overload this a lot faster. I hope I've gone the right way. I think I have, yeah. Of course I have. Move that. <laughs> we'll give you room to spawn another pa and load a new pallet. So the uh, spinnery is full with wool again. Okay, good. Right, we've uh, we're we're store we're out of space. Right, flip. It's an air raid siren. The Germans invading? Germans feeling a little froggy today? moving pallets making space we've got a lot of flour that's going to need transport into the bakery uh, fairly soon I don't have plans to do that today so that's just moved back a little bit right okay you're still filling up you're not, you are now finished. Right. 
So you can now go off and do a different job. Um, right, we'll make ourselves useful. Wow, we've got 252 fat. I didn't actually check how much the um, fabric sold for, but I'm guessing it was quite a lot of money. You know, we've made 252,000. Right. Grass mowing. Because we need more silage. We need to fill the silage bunker again. Now. Um, because we've... Uh, We've emptied it. Uh, bearing in mind how much silage have we got. Uh, 400,000 litres so far in the... in storage, ready for winter. So if we get this field done... Again, then um, yeah, we'll be we'll be well on the road. But yeah, I'm kind of intrigued to see how I go about trying to unlock the achievement for um, for bailing. Um, it's a great harvesting. Here's all our lovely little grapes. Look. Harvesting grapes. Can get a little bit tricky because obviously there are collisions on the poles. First ever grape harvest is underway. My first ever great harvesting. I did some olives the other day, so I've got a little bit of practice using these types of machines now. I did olives the other day on my multiplayer server. But, uh, yeah, this is my first time doing grapes. 
trying to figure out after this is done what we've got to do to re-prep all the trees tangle <laughs> you probably need to harvest face on with this so you can actually make sure you're actually driving in the right direction A little bit easier to see on the grape trees that you which ones you've harvested and which ones you haven't. One of the problems I had when I was doing the olive harvesting was knowing which row when you're turning around and stuff at the end of the row. It's like, hmm, have I done this row or have I not? <laughs> First grapes. I'm going to need a little trailer that I can tip into, though. So I'm going to need something a little bit on the on the smallish side. Right now, I'm 80% full. Right, let's have a look. Uh, Equipment-wise. Uh, first of all, we've not checked second-hand sales for a couple of days. Is there going to be anything good in there? That I kind of want to buy. Apparently, I can buy some eggs. <laughs> Buy a pallet of eggs. Uh, interesting. 56% discount on eggs. String. Pallet of butter. 48% off. Hmm. So we're going to need one of them for a free pruner and a little tipper trailer. Really? Can I not do better than that? It's going to hold 6,000 litres of grapes. I'm just thinking we can probably do better than that. That's a bit bigger. Bit bigger, bit better. Have cover on that one. I think we go for this one. Uh, we do not need a license plate. 
So yeah, we'll buy one of those. Uh, probably job for Mr. Class, I would think. I think he's done all the weeding. So let's go unload our great harvester. We've got grapes. Grapes for the future. Okay, I'm not going to lie, that air raid siren is starting to get on my nerves a little bit now. around over here. Yeah, that's the only thing with this. You've got to, kind of got to uh, get in position. to do the unloading. So like there's probably fine. There we go. Great, great, great. Yeah, most harvesters, you kind of want to be behind the harvester to see where it is you're actually harvesting. Whereas with these grapes and olives, you kind of need to be in front of the harvester so you can actually make sure you're actually guiding the sticks, the poles, the fences through the machine.
Stop. Yeah, front on, base on harvesting. Eighty per cent. Right, can I get another row? It's going to be closed. Pitch and go. There's a few grapes there I've missed. There's a lot of all. Not to worry. It's gone on load him again. Lol, you can open it to cover both directions. Makes sense. You don't do crop destruction <laughs> with grapes.
So the grape harvest is going well. About halfway there. We are a nice healthy amount. We will be including carrying on with this in the next episode, everybody. Doing a bit more grape harvesting and shuffling our equipment around a bit onto different fields. We've finished seeding the field behind me at this point in time, so um, yeah, we kind of need to move more thing. We need to get another field of oil, well, probably two fields of oil seed radish planted. We also need to get the wheat planted as well. Let's not forget. So yeah, when we come back for the next episode, there will be more grape harvesting. Because there's still a lot of this orchard to do. Uh, there'll be some more seeding. And we'll carry on. We'll get the um, grass wind road that I've just mowed. And get that loading wagoned up and put into the silo. And we can start producing quite a bit more... Um, silage 